So your tree pushed out in all of its spring glory and it is looking like a bush. And you're looking at this tree thinking it is the perfect time to go in and prune it back to shape and back to silhouette. It is not the perfect time right after that spring push. Even though our trees look like the best and the strongest that they might look all year, it is hands-off time because we need to make sure our trees can get a return on all of that energy that they just spent. So early spring, when that push started to happen, there was a shift going on down in those vacuoles that were created in the fall and we had to move the sugars and all of those salts out of that rooting mass so we can start uptaking new water and nutrients at that time. So the vacuoles and the roots have been completely spent of all of their energy stores to do this for you and now we have to give our tree three to four weeks at least depending on the species and allow them to use all of this brand new photosynthesizing mass to reaccumulate that energy refill some of those root stores. And it's at that time, once that has occurred, it is now safe for us to go in and prune our tree. There is no one coming to my house to check to make sure my trees are all staying in their silhouette. And I guarantee there's probably no one coming to your house to judge and check to see if your trees are always in their silhouette. How do we know when it's time to go back in now and do a post spring flush? We have all of these shoots that have came off on a Chinese elm. Generally, we say that most likely it has hardened off once it gets to about eight to 10 alternating leaves. But if we look at the central stem closer to the base, you can see where it's really light, bright green here and closer to it, it's starting to develop, develop a darker color and taking on a brown tint. Once that has occurred in the area that you want to prune. So if I'm only wanting to cut this back to here, it would not be ready yet. But if I'm saying I wanted to cut it all the way back to here, it's very close to being ready. Even more so than the very old big, the older big elm. This little one is definitely going to be needing a spring haircut, but it is hands off at this time. And we need to sit back and allow these trees to recuperate the energy that they expended in order to do all this magical stuff.